Welcome back. Usually our where in the wild segments include me in the middle of a river fly fishing or out in the forest learning about our wonderful trails and invasive species. But our latest one took me to the Michigan History Center in Lansing. We were invited to celebrate the unveiling of special mosaics featuring six different faces of why conservation is so important. Our duty, our goal, our mission, as stated in the legislation, is to educate the general public of Michigan about the benefits of hunting, fishing, uh, trapping, and the things that benefit everybody in Michigan, not just the sportsmen. So it's a very broad campaign, educational campaign, to try and reach out to the people who don't participate in hunting and fishing and get them to appreciate the things that hunters and fishers provide for them as well. So in 2019, the Michigan Wildlife Council went on a road show. They traveled to six different cities throughout the state, uh, exhibiting uh, species that have benefited from hunting, fishing, outdoor recreation, conservation activities. So we went to each city and we displayed a peregrine falcon, the wild turkey, the elk, the lake sturgeon, the Kirtland warbler. And we, we wanted to display these species and reach out to these people and educate them about how valuable these species are and how they were able to be brought back and why they were able to be brought back. And in a lot of that's because hunting and fishing license fees pay for those activities. So $60 million a year contributes towards bringing these species back and doing conservation activities. So it's a unique story to Michigan about conservation efforts. And these kids were able to get their picture taken, become part of the mosaic, and actually become part of Michigan's conservation story. So it was a great experience. Uh, six different cities, we interacted with hundreds of thousands of people, and we were able to get that story out there to everybody. So the legislation gives us a fund which comes from licensed hunting and fishing fees, and we work with a marketing agency, and they help us put together all these different events and all these different stories and really be able to get good information out there that, that is connecting with the people that we're trying to reach. It's going to be a great exhibit. I think they have over 600,000 visitors every year and 300,000 school kids that come through every year. Some of them will be, might even be able to recognize themselves in some of these pictures where they've been to these events and had their picture taken. So it's going to be a great opportunity to, again, highlight what the contribution of hunting and fishing does for Michigan. You know, as an organization, we're really committed to just getting the story out there, uh, finding new ways and interesting ways of connecting with people. And especially people, you know, a very small portion of people hunt and fish in Michigan, but everybody better. Benefits. And that's really the story we're trying to tell. And we're trying to connect with the things that people do and get them to understand that the things that they do also benefit from hunting and fishing dollars in terms of conserving land, water resources, and wildlife species and making sure that they're here for generations. I'm here for the unveiling of the Lake Sturgeon Mosaic. My students and I have raised uh, a sturgeon in the classroom for about seven years now. Uh, it's an amazing fish, gets to be about seven feet long, lives to about 100 years old. To be, have one in the classroom with Sturgeon for Tomorrow has been just a, a unique experience, um, an authentic experience for my students and I. A uh, big part of my career, and um, so we're, we're really excited about it. They've been around for a very, very long time. Uh, been in our waters since the beginning. They're a native fish. Basically, overfishing and dams and habitat loss landed them on the threatened species list uh, years ago, and so we've just been really fortunate to be part of Sturgeon for Tomorrow and uh, helping, you know, bring these animals back from the brink of extinction. Very rarely in education do you get to be part of something that's so real and authentic and have the kids be part of that doing the, the daily uh, feeding and water testing and tank maintenance. For them to be able to have this classroom pet that's not only just an endangered species but something that they're going to put out in there into the wild and will live on may maybe long after all of us are here. It's just, uh, it's such a great experience for all of us. The mosaic is fantastic, and I think it's just a great example of how all of us can be part of this conservation story, how all of us can help make a difference um, in bringing these animals back from extinction or the brink of extinction. And I want to thank um, Search for Tomorrow specifically, and I want to thank um, the Michigan Wildlife Council for making this happen. So well done. Hey, next time you're in the state capitol, stop by the Michigan History Museum and check out the Michigan Wildlife Photo Mosaics exhibit. It's a fun way to learn about the types of wildlife management taking place every day all across Michigan. And if you want to learn more about this and other great wildlife conservation stories the Michigan Wildlife Council has highlighted, you can visit here for miOutdoors.org.